Well, today's the day. I'm going to fix the freezer. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see everything. But this is what made me suspicious. Ice on the bottom. So, basically, I only need one tool. And this is uh, what is known as a ratchet and a socket. And there are one, two, three three screws to take off the back so that's what I'm doing now <laughs> and here's all the food <laughs> no I emptied out these boxes and this right now I'm sorting to say uh, do I really want it or don't I um, makes a mess whenever you I mean it creates a mess but I made a mess this morning <laughs> I was <laughs> get trying to get coffee <laughs> dropped it. <laughs> I don't know why. Who knows why I was asleep. And it went all over. So while well, this is thawing, but I'm going to help it out with my blow dry. Um, the object is that there should be a drain hole with a drain tube that will drain to the bottom of the refriger refrigerator underneath. And um, uh, that I think that tube is frozen. So we'll check out, see if I'm right. Well, I'm going to take off those screws and get with it. Well, right off, I found a problem. There is a layer of ice. I need to remove this, but it's embedded in a layer of ice. So out comes the blow dryer. And we'll see. Oh, and even though there's no dripping water, one should always be careful when using a blow dryer around any um, ice, water, anything. Well, so far my theory is right. Um, here, I'll show you. So, I got the ice that was built up around here. And there's the drain plug, and it's got a sheet of ice. The reason why I was suspicious of this is that I pulled out my uh, crispers to, you know, clean them out like you do. And I'd been going through a lot of purple onions. It seems like one just had purple onion skins. And I noticed there was water underneath it, which is the common symptom. And then when I opened the freezer, I saw this. Um... I think the reason why I'm making these videos is not just to show you how easy it is, but that, you know, there are a lot of si single women who don't have the money to fix stuff. And I see no reason to pay to have this fixed when um, it's not going to be a full day's work. Um, so I'm still doing my blow drying trick, which is working well. And then I'm you know, sopping up the water as I go with these uh, cotton uh, dish rags that I make because they're, you know, really absorbent. You could do it with a sponge. But I have to, you know, and maybe you don't want to do it, but maybe your husband can fix it. And, you know, works, you know, instructions are the same for male or female to fix this. The only thing I would give a warning is that this is very flimsy. The back of the refrigerator took off. If you were going to unplug it, there are two plugs. Make sure you re-plug them back in. But there's no reason to pull it completely out. These are known as fins. And they're, they're just made out of light aluminum. So, no way would I use anything metal to pry on this or scrape or anything because you're looking at basically even pretty expensive refrigerators they're just made out of like aluminum and plastic these days they're not like the old metal ones um, so if you have water under your crisper or you see standing ice in your freezer that is defrost free 
this is most often the um, problem and you don't want to fatigue your freezing system in any way. So I'm going to go back to blow drying and um, sopping and even after I get the ice off it I still have to figure out how am I going to unplug the tube. The tube runs all the way down the interior to the drain pan at the bottom of the refrigerator. So I'm going to have to come up with some nifty thing. I was thinking if I had a turkey baster that that would work. Um, because I, well, no, I'm still going to leave it unplugged for several hours. I'm just trying to get it so that I've got the ice off it so it's not freezing anymore. And I'll figure out something. I'm not sure what. But I have to unfreeze the tube. So I'm thinking. Okay, well, that's how it's going. <laughs> I know, exciting day, <laughs> exciting life I live. Well, I think my theory might be right, but as I suspected, the hard part's going to be the um, getting the tube unfrozen. I'll show you. So I finally have gotten to the hole, and when I put my finger in it, it is definitely frozen. So, I'm hitting it still with the blow dryer. Uh, and I do the, you know, the wrist action. Because I don't think it's really good to hold it right there. Because again, we're talking plastic and cheap metal. Um, I, if you left it for 24 hours, it would probably thaw. You left it all open and nothing in it, but I have a refrigerator full of stuff with several bags of ice stuck in there. So I don't want to wait 24 hours. <laughs> so I have lots to do. I cut my nails off, so I think I'm going to paint them that purplish black I like. So I'll just keep blow drying for a while and get my nails painted. I'm uploading something. I'm going to be about two days behind um, uh, in my vlogging. Just, you know, to keep the pressure off me. God knows I don't need any more pressure. Um, so, I need something to eat. And I think I'll paint my nails and blow dry. Oh, and I'll know when it's done. When I can hear water drip in the pan. I don't know if I've mention that. But I think if I can get it thawed just a little bit more, a turkey baster would be nice to have, but I could use a straw. You know, the old fashioned, I mean the old, you know, when you stick um, a straw in liquid and stop it up with your uh, finger, commonly known as, uh, they actually, that's what they call French pipettes in the lab. Um, I might be able to do that, but I'd like to see a little more opening in the um, tube. Because right now it's like maybe that much on my finger. And I'd like to see, I'd like to, if I could put my finger in and not feel ice, then I would be comfortable doing um, because I think putting some hot water, like nuking a cup of hot water in the microwave, which, by the way, I have to clean also. And I have to mop the floor, and oh, it was a bad morning with the coffee. It went everywhere. Well, I'm going to think about lunch and paint my nails. Well, it seems to be taking a lot longer than what I thought. I have four nails done. Well, that's another thing. When I go to blow dry the um, um, the drain tube, um, I can hit my nails real fast, so I should be able to get them painted faster. 
Well, I decided on good old fashioned microwave popcorn and a green drink for lunch. And I'm watching House. <laughs> well, that's all that's happening right now. I don't think keeping junk inside the refrigerator cold is helping this process. Eh, can't think of everything. Well, I got it done. There what I uh <laughs> finally got smart and pulled it out the refrigerator and was what got it was I blue dry or blow dried I used the dryer and the heat from underneath and it's a pretty dense plastic but it doesn't conduct heat the only thing that I had trouble is I had trouble getting this back up and right um, but I just took my time and I'm going to plug it in and see how it works. Well, sounds fine. I mean, it's, you know, start it. Sounds normal. I'll give it a couple hours um, to cool back down. And I don't think I'm going to save any of the soups though. They look a little thawed. Uh, I'll eat soup for dinner and uh, maybe tomorrow because I mean they're still frozen solid on top. So We can only hope it works. Find out if it doesn't go through that again, that that was it. Um, and I have three bags of ice to take to the picnic tomorrow. Win-win. Well, I've been, oh, I got my nails all done. I've been um, working on this, uh, watching a house and, <laughs> and planning seeds and pots. I have about mm, four more to go, I think. Five. I don't know. I just keep planning till it's done. <laughs> so, again, only takes a ratchet and I should look. Hold on. Let me look. It's a uh, one-fourth um, socket. And, um, I'd say five hours of my time, but I mean, not totally five hours of my time. Because, you know, I'm busy. Like when I pulled out the refrigerator, I cleaned the side of it. Um, I've been going outside, planting some pots. Uh, it was easy to do my nails because I'd blow dry them. Uh, so, well, other than cleaning up the mess, and I'm just going to leave the stuff in the cooler until the freezer cools back down. That should take a couple hours. But in the refrigerator, I looked, the ice is still cold, so it hasn't even started melting. So, like I said, three bags of ice. Um, that won't go to waste. Um, I've already called and told them I have three good bags of ice. And they went, excellent. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go back to planting, and I'll see you later. Well, the barbecue guy that belongs to our dinner club is up to barbecuing tonight, so I'm going to take a movie over there, and only two of us can go. Um, he does stuff like this, so... I'm going to end this video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.